this is actually fusing the protons, and the protons decay into neutrons. I don't know if you call it a decay, because how's this happening? When the hydrogen comes in, kicks a gamma ray out, except notice this fourth time. When that fourth one comes in, no gamma ray. Three other times there were gamma rays, three neutrinos, three positrons. This fourth one adds, notice now, no neutrino, no positron, no gamma ray. The fourth proton can actually come in. The alpha particle now stable, magic numbers two. And what are we left with? The carbon-12 nucleus. So this is called a catalyst because it remains, it ends up in the net reaction as being unchanged. So this carbon can go on and take another hydrogen proton in, start the whole cycle over again. So I have a theory that there was carbon around when the helium and hydrogen was fused at the Big Bang. Let's see what else we have for your enjoyment here. More of our Easter and Bunny stuff. Anything here? Let's see what else do we have for you. We did fusion in the tin. Let's go back to some of our original stuff here. For this deal, we had some original artwork. Let's get to our original stuff here. PDF rant, this ain't me. Some of these. Oh, let's see. I want to read our Yitria poem. Apparently, this was being cut and somebody took over my poem. Story of Yitria, the group. Three superhero from Sweden. Let's do this. Having been removed by Thor from my Garden of Eden, locked in a molecular dungeon in the dirt near Yipterby, Sweden, Gadolin, my mentor, released me from my cold, dark prison. But it was Waller who freed me from my strong bonds to oxygen. It was there I would reside to remain and not hide. With my total freedom still denied, I finally escaped as precipitate in a trichloride. Thanks to Paul Chu, I became superconducting in temperatures below even the Arctic cold. And now my yttrium-90 isotope kills tumors untold. I can command the lanthanide series to all fall into line and postulating quantum theories for mass, space, and time. With red and green phosphors, my eyes radiate lasers from, and with europium and vanadium, I bring light to children's TVs in their homes. I strengthen alloys and welder cut steel. With aluminum and garnet, I simulate diamonds hard as the real. I shine a painless laser so that dentists won't hurt. Ah, free to last from my home in the Swedish dirt. This was written in 1998 at 6.02 on 10.23. Again, this is Yitria, the group two superhero from Sweden. Okay, let's see what else we have for your enjoyment here.
like this. Again, in order to make it colorful, in order to make it cool and appealing, there we go. It just won't give me what I want. I'll live with this. What do we have? We have the standard model of quark theory chromodynamics. We have the antimatter, anti top, anti charm, anti up. B bar, the bar on top means it's an antimatter. B bar, S bar, D bar. We've got the real matter that we have top quarks, bottom quarks, charm quarks, strange quark, up and down. These are the mass particles now that exist in the universe. The two ups and the down, proton. Two downs and an up, the neutron. The force carrier is the electron. The electromagnetic photon light. This is matter as we know it now. This is called the standard model. These are all the particles quarks, the four force carriers for electromagnetism, the W naught and the graviton and the gluons are the three other force carriers that are on our table here. But again, this, when it's red, it's positive. It's easy to notice. Beta decay contriction. So this is your standard one. You saw how mine's colorful. You can see the neutron bunny. You can see the proton, the sleepy proton. Tritium. This is the heaviest hydrogen there is. Hydrogen with a three. Mass of three. If it's got one proton, it must be two neutrons. 12.3 years. Three hydrogen tritium turns into a helium, so a neutron must decay to a proton. Beta particle, antineutrino. This is the one we're familiar with, beta decay. What we saw in the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen cycle was neutron was created from a proton. Here it's just a standard neutron because there's an excess, two neutrons to one proton, not happy. Helium, two protons, one neutron. This is a lot more stable than the tritium. Tritium, they can make a hydrogen bomb out of that stuff. That's what they like to do. This I like just because it was colorful. A double beta emission. Two beta particles can come out. Two new nitrogen. Two nitrogen. Two neutrons. It's getting late. Where it's time to wrap it up. We're making more typos and miscues than anything else. So again, I want you to see what an alpha particle is. We could have little kids coloring these things. An alpha Greek letter, alpha is the alpha fish everybody sees on their cars, the plus, the two plus. Two neutrons, two protons. That's the alpha particle, stable. Two protons, two neutrons. 